Hello, everybody. I want to welcome you to today's Open Heavens Reflections program. The Open Heavens Reflections are based on the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. My name is Akiola Shoroi, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Center based in the southeast of London. Our topic for reflection today is Microwave Christianity. And a Bible passage is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse 3. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms, of laying on of hands, of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And these we will do if God permits. A memory verse is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 11. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Our reflections for today. Are you or someone you know experiencing poverty in every area of your life? Now, poverty is not just about finances. Poverty is defined as the state of being inferior in quality or insufficient in amount. That means being poor in any area means you have less than you should have. Are you poor in wisdom? Poor in resources? Poor in knowledge? Poor in relationships or children? Whatever you have less of than you know God has, uh, has proposed for you, determine that with, with God's help and you will get out of it in Jesus' name. Now, if the solution appears to be delayed, remember that you are precious to God and God has not forgotten you. Do not try to solve problems your own way. God knows you and he knows what to do at the right time. God cares about you and about every move that you want to make. He knows everything about you, even the number of hairs on your head. And He loves you very much. You're special. You've been created for a purpose. In the book of Psalms 139, verses 13 to 16, the Bible says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Friends, never ever feel that God has forgotten you. He has a plan for you. And in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, God himself said, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Friends, why don't you trust in the Lord today? Why don't you hand over every burden that is troubling you? And I can assure you that he will meet every need of yours. God has a plan and purpose. He had a plan and purpose for Esther. And he orchestrated events in her life so that she had the opportunity to fulfill it. However, she had a choice to fill her purpose or walk away from it. The choice was presented to Esther by Mordecai with a warning that if she chose wrongly, she and her household may perish. Thank God that she made the right choice and victory followed. I pray for you also that you will also experience victory as you fulfill the reason for your creation and location in Jesus' name. A Bible passage tells us today that those that are mocking you will be confounded when they see how things turn around for you. Psalm 113 verses 7 and 8 says, He raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the harsh heap, that he may sit with the princes, with the princes of his people. Whatever kind of poverty that is holding you down, 
God will lift you out of it in Jesus' name. Nevertheless, you also need to be determined and trust in God. Our key point for today. If we fail to diligently fight for the faith that was delivered to us, a time will come when all we, we have left will be those people that are fake. Thank you so much for watching with us today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye and God bless.